Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, Ed Bud here and today I've got a very quick initial look at a brand new colorway of the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent. It's the Ekadin colorway, it's just been released um, over here in the UK. I think it's been available for around about a month over in Japan, over in Asia. It certainly is a real look at this one in the red and the blue. Apparently it's not blue, apparently it's Aura Green. What? So a really fantastic looking colorway of the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent here. Really am enjoying this one. I really had to pick them up after I missed out on the Vaporfly Next Percent Be True edition. Really kicking myself. I really wished I got those when they first came out. I didn't make the same mistake again this time and I managed to get all of these on uh, the release date over here in the UK, which was the 2nd of January. So now I've had a good look at these shoes, I've noticed there are few very slight subtle changes and differences between these and the initial version of the shoes that I picked up back in July of 2019. So the first real striking thing, I don't know if you can sort of pick it up from the lights, actually it works pretty well. They've got this beautiful sort of metallic swoosh on them, um, which is different on each of the shoes. Um, these shoes, as you can see, sort of mirror each other um, in terms of opposites. In terms of the colorway and the uh, features of the shoe, they kind of mirror each other. Uh, one's crimson and one's in this kind of blue color, which they reckon's green. It's definitely blue. I really do like the uh, metallic motif there. Really does stand out. It's gonna look real nice on foot. Um, when I utilize these in some races later in 2020. Here's the red one and you can see there that it's kind of a blue metallic swoosh on there in comparison to the uh, other shoe, the left shoe, the right shoe even. That's the right shoe. I really do like this colorway. It does kind of make me think of the very original version of the Vaporfly 4% uh, that was released back in 2017. That very original version uh, colorway had this sort of blue and red um, as the main colors and I think it just really works well for this shoe. It does look fantastic. Really love this crimson one, actually. How are you doing? Another thing you'll notice about the shoes, you've got this very prominent black thick line kind of splitting up the different sections of the midsole on this version of the Next Percent. It was missing on the, this version of the shoe. This is a proper one, by the way. It's not one of these fakes. I keep hearing people talking about these fake versions of the Next Percent and I've yet to see anything like that, but as you can see, the black line definitely missing here. And I think it really does look great, actually, in terms of the midsole kind of sections. It makes me think of the old version of the Vaporfly 4%. I mean, even back here on the 4% Flyknit, you had this kind of ice blue line, but the black line really looks good, I think. The black line is a little messy, I guess, on my pair of the shoes here. I don't know if that's just how they're gonna come out, all of them, or it's just my pair. I would assume though that it's probably the whole lot. Painting stuff onto ZoomX does seem particularly difficult. Whenever they try to put some more detailed uh, text on there, they always seem to have a small raised area where the uh, text appears, so it's easier to print onto. So on the top half of the midsole here, you've got the opposing color and that appears there on the inner side as well. These are creased straight out of the box. If you've got a problem with um, sort of midsoles uh, looking creased and things like that, straight out of the box then really don't go for this shoe. Get something else um, if you like that kind of completely virgin, uncreased midsole. Don't go for the Vaporfly. Don't know if you can see there on the inner side wall of the shoe or on the midsole, you've got a small symbol there replacing the percentage symbol that features on the initial version of the next percent. I have been trying to figure out what that symbol says um, to no avail up to now so if you do uh, know what it says uh, can you please post down in the comments and let me know I am very interested to see if they've just kind of switched it out and replaced the percentage symbol with something similar or it has a different meaning altogether. The insoles of the shoes are stuck in this time round, as per usual actually with the Vaporfly series. They do have a distinct pan which has that Aurora green and a red Nike swoosh. I'll throw an image up on screen for you to be able to see that. Um, it's a bit tough getting the light uh, inside the shoe. Endeavour to do that with my camera when I do some cutaway shots of the shoe to add into the video. The laces are striped in blue and white at the very ends, uh, on one lace and then blue on the other 
Just on sort of feeling the heel cushion, I think it's pretty much the same. I would suggest maybe it feels a little bit more aggressive in terms of how, just how spongy it is there at the back. I really actually like the heel cushion in the next percent. It was quite a painful blister on my heel and the next percent uh, really helped out there, enabled me to continue training. So this release from the Ekiden pack is entitled uh, HKNE, I believe that stands for Hakone. That's the name of the most popular type of Ekiden race over in Japan. So I think I've got this right in saying that it's kind of like a relay based race. The Hakone Ekiden has 10 people undertaking just over a half marathon distance each in a very long relay race starting off in Tokyo. Really quite interesting actually reading about that, something I've not encountered in the past. Uh, maybe I'll place some links up in the description below so you can read a little bit more about the Ekiden series of events. I think there are some over here in the UK and um, people have started to organise some and people participate in them over here. Something I'd actually really enjoy doing. I think it's a really cool thing involving yourself in a team type of activity there over some considerable distance. Another little difference here in the shoes is the rubber traction pieces here at the back of the shoe and the heel area. Uh, they've kind of mirrored the colours again so on the blue shoe you've got blue sections there and in the red one you have the red sections here at the heel. The rubber sections in the heel I've heard from all sorts of different runners um, are giving them more miles, uh, more durability to their next percent so they're getting a lot more out of them but then perhaps the Vaporfly 4% and the Flyknit version which came before. I've got mine to hand here actually, my original version of the next percent and yeah the rubber pieces are hardly even tarnished. There's a little bit of wear here at the very back area of the shoe. I've probably got a little tired there, got a little sloppy but the rest of the shoe is actually looking great. It looks fantastic. I think it's about 60 miles in these so far but there's very little wear. So slightly little difference for me in these is I have gone up half a size. So this is a UK 11.5 or 11 and a half, 11.5, what? So this is a 11 and a half. I did experience a little bit of discomfort when utilizing the next percent going true to size in my small toes on these sort of outer edges of my foot. They seem to get crushed a little bit not hugely, I mean it wasn't like I was in pain, it was just some discomfort. So I've experimented here a little bit and gone half a size up to see if it allows a little bit more space, certainly wearing the socks that I prefer to use when racing. It wasn't really a problem when training in them, uh, obviously you like to wear certain socks when you're racing, certain socks when you're training. Sometimes when you're training you don't always have the ones you want available. They could be somewhere in the washing cycle somewhere or lost. You know, stuff just disappears, doesn't it? Where does it go? Where does all this stuff go? Any ideas, Beast? Don't mean to interrupt you. New shoes, you see. New shoes and the Beast is here to keep an eye on them. So hopefully going at half size will alleviate that issue a little bit. A uh, bit of an experiment really. I've noticed in certain shoes very recently that I'm always tinkering around with insoles and messing about with all that sort of stuff. I'd rather just get a shoe, put it on and enjoy it. Um, so I might start to experiment a little bit with going half a size up in certain models to see if that alleviates some of the problems. So I'll update you guys as I progress with this shoe. I will take them out on a initial run very shortly um, but really going to save them back for some of my peak sort of races in 2020. So those of you who perhaps haven't encountered the Vaporfly series before, there's some sort of key points really just to go over just in case you're unaware of them. The Vaporfly series is ridiculously light and the cushioning used or at least the material used is something called Pebax or Pebax, I'm not entirely sure exactly which pronunciation it is but um, that's the material used it's very, very light. It's very easy to apparently manipulate it under high temperature and it retains a huge amount of its cushioning over time. So even when they kind of expand it out, um, put it under this extreme heat and sort of molding it into the shapes that they need, it still has an incredible amount of sort of energy return. This really is a highly cushioned shoe. If you haven't ever experienced it, it is quite something really. When you first put it on, it feels almost otherworldly actually. You can feel it give, but then sort of push your foot back up. Um, so very, very cushioned. It really does help me in terms of reducing fatigue 
and also uh, where I like using the Pegasus Turbo 2 and the Pegasus 35 Turbo before that. It really does help when you're training to reduce that fatigue in your legs um, when you're certainly starting to rack up more serious considerable miles over the course of a week. I'm starting to love the Vapor Weave Upper on these shoes now. I've used them a little bit more. I was a little bit skeptical about it to start with. It kind of felt really odd actually, like you were kind of placing your foot into like a shopping bag or a bin bag or something. But actually Vapor Weave has proved to be very, very good over the course of the last few months where I've utilized the shoe in several different training situations. It's very, very light, it's very flexible and it's very accommodating in terms of your foot shape, which a lot of people found the Flyknit upper, which came before it, really wasn't. The other weird thing about these shoes, obviously, is the offset lacing here. Again, it's a very odd thing when you first put the shoes on for the first time. You've got to manipulate the tongue a little bit to get it kind of flat over the top of your foot. But once you have and you lace the shoe up, it's just a kind of set and forget thing, really. You just don't feel it whatsoever. I think that offset lacing is to reduce the amount of pressure over the top of the forefoot. And I've certainly experienced some discomfort when using a Flyknit version of the Vaporfly back in June 2019 during the Heron Half Marathon. In the later stages of the race uh, where the laces go across your forefoot in the Flyknit version, I really did start to feel a little bit of pain there. That hasn't been the case in these. In a 10 mile run in the green version of the Next Percent, Last night, I managed to clock in about seven minutes, nine seconds per mile average. So I was cooking along very nicely, but it didn't really feel like that. Certainly in the next percent, you do feel like you don't have to put quite as much effort in. Obviously you've got that effort in the bag then to push forward and it can improve your performance quite considerably. So if you've got any questions about the Vaporfly Next Percent Ekaden Edition, please comment below. I shall endeavor to answer them as soon as I can. Those half marathon training updates will resume very shortly. As you can understand, it's been Christmas, New Year, lots of things going on. Um, so they will come back very soon. I know some of you really enjoy those. So normal service will resume very shortly. Please give the video a thumbs up like, uh, make sure you comment below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do that, hit the button down here somewhere and make sure you share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.